What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today I have a recipe for you. It is a super simple smoked pork loin that is dripping with juices. It's only three ingredients. It's incredibly simple and so flavorful. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so let's get started. We're gonna jump right into the recipe, I promise, but I had to stop you and let you know about our limited edition release with Thermalworks. We've got an exclusive Thermapen with the Hay Grill Hay branding, as well as a lemon pepper seasoning that you can only get in this bundle. It's dropping on Thermalworks tomorrow. I'm gonna be sending out a text and an email to my subscribers, so make sure that you're on that list. I'm going to drop the link in the video description so you'll be the first to know and snag one of these, only one of 250 available bundles of the Thermapen One and the Hay Grill Hay Lemon Pepper Seasoning. I can't wait to see what you cook with both of them. Step one for the smoked pork loin is to get our pork loin ready for the smoker. I like to pat mine dry with paper towels, pull off any excess bits from processing, and trim the fat cap down so it's an even quarter inch across the top. It'll be mostly there already, but sometimes you'll find little pockets of fat that need to be trimmed down. Once it's trimmed, it's time to score. Using a really sharp knife, I like to use a fillet knife. We're gonna score just a quarter to half an inch deep all the way across the top at a diagonal. And they're gonna be about an inch apart on each slice. This will give us a really beautiful appearance, but more importantly, there's a layer of silver skin right under the fat cap. And what that does is prevent any of the smoke or seasoning or fat or flavor from rendering into this lean meat itself. When I score through the fat cap, it opens up the meat underneath, allowing it to be accessed more by the seasoning, the fat, and the smoke flavor. Once I'm done scoring, I drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and rub it in with my hands just to make sure that I get even coverage on all sides. Then I season pretty aggressively with my sweet rub seasoning. The pork loin itself is a really lean cut and it doesn't have a ton of porky flavor. So we're gonna reinforce every bite with this sweet rub. Now you can grab a bottle of sweet rub in my store or I have the recipe available on my website. You can make it at home. Once my pork loin is seasoned, it's time to head out to the smoker. I've got a pellet smoker preheated to 225 degrees. And again, this is a really mild cut of meat, so you can kind of choose your own adventure when it comes to the smoke flavor you want to impart into the pork. I'm partial to more fruit woods when it comes to pork. I really like apple, and I think that gives a really nice mellow flavor with this pork loin. I've got my smoker preheated to 225 degrees. I'm gonna pop this on directly on the grates, close the lid and let this smoke. And that's really all there is to it. This is a set it and forget it kind of recipe. It usually takes between two to two and a half hours. It can take up to three if your pork loin is really, really thick. This one tends to lay a little bit flat. So I think we'll be seeing around two to two and a half hours. This one weighed about four and a half pounds. I like mine with just a dry rub. However, if you want a little more barbecue flavor, you can actually baste with barbecue sauce at the very end of the cooking process. It'll get sticky, it'll give you a beautiful color on the outside, and you get that saucy barbecue flavor. Once that roast reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna pull it off the smoker onto our cutting board or your serving platter. You just wanna tent it lightly with foil. Don't crimp it because we don't want to steam and continue cooking the roast, but a light tent will help retain a lot of the moisture in this lean cut. Let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes before you start slicing. We want to slice this against the grain. I like to slice thinner if I'm going to be using it during the week and you can put it on sandwiches. It's absolutely delicious. Or if this is your main character dinner meal, main character dinner meal, or if this roast is the main character for your meal, you can go a little bit thicker so there's a little more substance on each plate. This might be the perfect pork loin. The color on the outside is amazing. As I slice into this, you can actually see the smoke ring on the top side of this and the juice is out of control. No squeezy, all drippy. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're going for. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece off of this end right here where that smoke ring is. It's nice and pink in the middle, well seasoned on the outside. Mm. For a lean cut without a ton of flavor, this is an incredible, 
incredibly flavorful bite of pork. It's juicy, it's tender, has a really lovely texture, a light porky flavor, but you get all the seasoning from the sweet rub on the outside and then that smoke is very prevalent. One of the beautiful things about pork and these lighter flavored meats is that they pick up smoke flavor incredibly well and very quickly. This is a super simple show stopper of a roast. It comes in at pretty affordable per pound and I think it just tastes great. Not to mention you can do it in a few hours and feed a whole bunch of people. This is gonna become a regular in your family rotation. I think this is a great like Sunday supper kind of a roast. I hope you guys give it a try. If you do, let me know how it turns out for you. Leave a comment below and we'll see you guys next time. That's so good.